great name for a boat. Cosgrove. If you like waking up to the sound of perpetual birdsong, then Cosgrove is the place for you. We've arrived in Cosgrove at just the right time, on the 29th of February. It expires on the 29th of February, of course, <clears throat> because this year, year of our Lord 2024, is a leap year. A reminder to all of us to only pay the CRT for a winter mooring once every four years. If at all. That is not boater's rubbish. This is quite literally two weeks worth of rubbish out of my boat. You'll always find the bins overflowing <clears throat> around sort of bank holiday weekends and stuff like that, usually because Biffa miss a collection. Is it me? Or do people not know how to throw rubbish away in a bin anymore? People seem to sort of pile it all on top and then walk away even if the lid doesn't close. Sort of like, eh, someone else will deal with that. Now I have heard talk that a biffa take away whatever's left in their bins and recycle it correctly. Uh, although uh, it's probably quite difficult to um, recycle a kitchen sink. To be fair, there are some glass only recycling bins there, um, they must think that uh, boaters drink a lot. I don't know how these rumours get started, to be honest. One of the biggest problems with um, uh, rubbish facilities for boaters is the uh, phenomenon of fly tipping. It's the reason why CRT put cages all around the bins and they're only accessible with a BW key, something that only boaters should have. But it doesn't stop people from sometimes leaving them unlocked um, and then people fill our bins with their rubbish, household rubbish and other items. It's also not a good idea if you're stripping out your boat to leave all of the stuff from a stripped out boat in the bins. Take that stuff to a tip, that's what that's there for. Or find yourself a skip boat, put it all in there. So if you know where to look, you'll find skip boats like these, which are perfect for larger items. Still a little bit cold and damp. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I'm getting excited now because we're only going to be in Cosgrove for a week and then we move our boat into the boatyard at Baxter's uh, for our hull to be repainted. Um, now we're not going to stay on the boat for that week 
uh, we're going to take a, a trip to Herefordshire, just some downtime, ironically enough, in a nice, quiet, small log cabin. Will do us a world of good. And uh, it has a bath, although it is outside. So now that's going to work. Anyway, that's how I feel about it. The point is, how do you feel? Ha <laughs> ha!